Hi, this video was created from a lecture presented at International Veterinary Ultrasound Society meeting in Salzburg, Austria. And I had divided my presentation into three parts. In the first part, I give a few basic definitions. In the next part, I am going to show the history and finally, in the last part, I would like to give you some current applications and perspectives. Well, let me begin telling you that imaging medicine has evolved faster than other fields because it's closely linked to technology. In some countries my, like mine, this decreases the equipment costs. Moreover, many new technological features have been added to the modern diagnostic ultrasound system. Most of them are the result of the efforts toward a better resolution. Considering clinical examination, palpation is well known in medicine practice. It involves uh, the squeezing of a lamp, for example in order to establish whether it's hard or soft in comparison to the surround tissue. So, we know that soft tissues' mechanical attributes are determined by their molecular constitution, macro and micro structural orga organization. One of soft tissue important characteristics is inherent elasticity that may be altered by some process like uh, aging, inflammation and malignant tumors. But echogenicity and mechanical properties are not always related. In order to solve this matter, it was developed a new technique that provides images that are related to the tissue stiffness. So, and we know what you know about tissue elasticity. Elasticity describes the ability of a tissue to repair, or better, to regain its original shape and size following application of stress. In general, elastic tissue tissues are soft, slower sound speed, easily comp compressed and tension it, even with less pressure or strain, and are benign. Unlike fibrotic and hard tissues are higher sound speed, stronger resistance deformation, and are malignant. Then, we can define elastosonography as the ultrasound imaging of tissue stiffness compared to the surround tissue. The analyzed area is submitted to a load and the system measures its response. About physical principles, the load applied to the tissue can be considered static. The data acquisition time is so short that the pressure may be considered to be constant. The answer to the applied load is modified, demonstrating viscoelasticity and dynamic properties of the interest region in a qualitative and quantitative way. Depending on the applied load and the answer obtained, we have different types of equipments. This fall into two main categories, strain and shear wave sonography. Let's see each of them. Fiber scan, supersonic shear imaging, and ARF, acoustic radiation force impulse. Fiber scan was the first technology to assess liver parenchyma stiffness. Most of studies in humans were performed to assess hepatic fibrosis. Reports prove that it's a high-cost technique that can't be used in obese and acidic patients. It provides a small sample with no B-mode image. 
In our opinion, it's a high-cost technique with important limitation in human and veterinary medicine. Besides, it provides very small sample with one centimeter of diameter at two and a half centimeter of depth. About uh, static elastography, it's the original form of elastosonography, commercially available in several equipments, and that relies on application of manual compression using the ultrasound transducer to produce longitudinal tissue compression. So it's an operator dependent and needs a longer learning curve. This become a technique with intra and inter observer variables. In the last decade, new technologies are being used as RF and supersonic share wave image. These both techniques are able to generate marginal and orthogonal waves at the same time that focal waves of ultrasound providing better penetration. It can be used in obese and acidic patients and helps to focal lesions detections. In brief, Sharewave is a faster technique that provides accurate quantitative assessment. In our opinion, disadvantages are high cost and small sample again. Both Sharewave are and supersonic, in a similar way, is a faster technique that provides elasticity calculation with better pre precision. Some equipments also provides a color mapping study, but still is a high-cost equipment for veterinary, with no correlation cutoff values between different equipments. This kind of technique provides a push pulse that causes mechanical excitation and tissue displacement, resulting in the generation of lateral shear waves. Unlike ultrasound, the motion of the particles within shear waves is perpendicular to the direction of the wave propagation. Following, multiple detection pulses are applied throughout the region of the interest to detect and calculate, calculate wave velocity in centimeter per second. Moving on, la now let us know something about the history and perspectives of these techniques. Since the beginning of medicine, palpation was the first technique to assess tissue stiffness. Pathological changes are generally correlated with changes in tissue stiffness as well. Elastography is a relative new technique. First studies were published in 1997. Strain sonography with color-coded maps were used to assess focal lesions. Commonly, blue areas represent tissues of great stiffness red areas as the lowest stiffness and green areas are representing intermediate stiffness tissues. First studies to measure soft tissue motion were published in 1981 using A scans. In the beginning of the 90s, the terminology elastogram and elastography was used for the first time to describe a method for imaging the elasto elasticity of biological tissues. First studies had the purpose to determine the appearance of breast lesions on elastogram and to explore the potential of this technique in the diagnosis in humans. In 1999, Elastography was used for the first time to assess human prostate in vivo. In 2000, elastography 
was used to assess human femoral and coronary arteries in vivo also. In the beginning of 2000, first studies with transiatic elastography demonstrated that it might be used for the assessment of hepatic fibrosis. In 2007, first studies were published in Orthopedy, showing that strain elastography can be used to characterize tendons in humans, clinically normal calcaneal tendons, and they conclude that was a feasible method. At the same time, some studies in oncology were published to estimate the accuracy of sonoelastography in the differentiation of benign and metastatic cervical lymph nodes in patients suspected of having cancer. In 2008, first study using acoustic radiation force impulse was published. So, after that, mechanical tissue proper properties became reliable to elastographic quantitative assessment. In the last decade, recent studies show that this new technique allows accurate assessment of nerves, focal hepatic lesions, aneurysms, breast masses, thyroid solid nodules, and also liver stiffness. Several articles were published showing advantages and disadvantages of this method and comparing with, with others. Acoustic radiation force impulse combined with transiated sonography has been showing high specificity, almost 93%, for predicting significant liver fibrosis. If these two methods are in agreement, then liver biopsy can be avoided. It was a very important conclusion. Reports of veterinary applications of elastography are few, and clinical use in this field is beginning to be established. We started our research in this field in 2009. The objective of that study was to evaluate the diagnostic performance of elastography for early detection of malignant hepatic nodules in an experimental rat model of NASH. No colic hepatitis. This study was sent to publication in 2012 and published in 2013. In 2012, transient elastography was used for hepatic evaluation in dogs. In 2013, it was published an article reporting strain elastography to characterize metacarpal tendons in clinically normal horses. Findings of this study supported future clinical application of elastography as a non-invasive imaging modality for evaluation of the tendons and ligaments of the distal forelimb in the in horses. Also in 2013, a pilot study in cats was published with the purpose to assess the feasibility of strain sonography. And they concluded that further research is needed in cats with confirmed disease of these organs to compare the diagnostic sensitivity and sensibility of ultrasound elastography and versus B-mode sonography. Next year, in 2014, it was published a study with 15 dogs using acoustic radiation force impulse 
with the purpose to assess the feasibility of this technique for clinical use in conscious dogs to assess normal canine liver, spleen, and kidneys. In 2014, we published uh, preliminary results of one work of our researchers in this field. The objective of this work was to evaluate the applicability of acoustic radiation force impulse as a complementary method in diagnosing mammary neoplasm in dogs. Finally, moving on to the clinical application, at the moment, main clinical applications are focal lesions, malignancy detection in breast, prostate, thyroid, pancreas, testicle, fibrosis quantification in human medicine, and few researchers with animals in order to focal lesion malignancy detection in prostate, breast, liver, and experimental models, dogs, and cats. There are many publications in human medicine that assess hepatic fibrosis. As I told you before, When acoustic radiation force impulse imaging is combined with transiated sonography, results in high specificity for predicting liver fibrosis, and in this case, liver biopsy could not be needed. Well, let's see some illustration of focal lesions malignancy detection. This figure shows a focal hard lesion in a dog's testicle that histology confirmed malignancy. In this other animal, liver elastogram presented a positive lesion with an area of high hard stiffness which indicates malignancy. This was confirmed on histology evaluation as Hepatocarcinoma. In this another example, some hard lesions are seen within a cirrhotic liver in a rat model of chronic hepatitis. Biopsy confirmed as an hepatocarcinoma also. So, in conclusion, elastography softwares are currently available on several machine systems and their ability to evidence and improve focal parenchymal lesions characterization that supports the application. Well, we are driving studies in order to characterize focal lesions with ARF sonography in liver, testicle, prostate in dogs and also in liver and spleen in cats. And we are trying to publish our results. I think in the near future, additional applications await results of research efforts. Ultrasonography is a dynamic imaging diagnostic tool with technological advances and constantly change to our concepts and perception. So we have to step it up Let's work it on. Thank you for your attention.